screen. I'm trying to see what we got going on down here. I tell you what, we work with, we work, hey, listen, we work with TikTok every day. We work with TikTok every day, trying to get this thing to make sure that it's uh, operating the way that it's supposed to. I tell you, it's something, right? You know what I'm saying? The enemy is always busy, always trying to find some type of way to get us discouraged, some type of way to get us thrown off uh, course this morning. Y'all know what I got going on. Got my TikTok going down here, IG going up here. How y'all doing this morning, man? First of all, I want to say this before I even get started. I want to say happy, happy October 1st. This is officially, right? This is officially Mental Health Month, which means we're going to be really focusing, really locked into talking about about great mental health, pushing great mental health. Um, and, and, and as we go into this mental health month, I just want, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it real good for y'all because I don't, I don't want no misunderstanding. I don't want nobody saying that they didn't know what was going on. None of that. We gonna make sure that we are all the way locked in. I'm gonna make sure that everybody is on board what we got going on, right? Okay, well, I just, before I even get started, before I drop my topic, I gotta wait on them. They, they coming in right now. They double tapping as fast as they can. I see them coming in. Y'all know I try to change the time so I can get some of you guys when y'all going to lunch break. That's right. Go ahead and double tap on that screen real quick. I know y'all didn't put the babies back in school. Some of y'all back at work. You know what I'm saying? We off the summer vacation. So now we got to get right back locked into our regular schedules. How y'all doing this morning? It's your favorite online motivational speaker, your favorite online life coach. It's your girl, Street Poet. Go ahead and double tap on that screen real quick. Go ahead, double tap on that screen real quick because we're going to start it off right, baby. I'm going to tell you that right now. I see y'all already blessing me with badges. I see y'all already double tapping on that screen. Go ahead and share the live with your favorite person, the person you go to brunch with, you go to lunch with. Go ahead and tap in. Tell them, hey, look, coach is on live right now. We about to get this mental health uh, awareness month. She about to get us locked and loaded for us so go ahead and double tap go ahead and bring them in let me know what you, you know what i'm saying let me know where you're viewing me from so i can go ahead and shout out some of y'all's areas what's up dc how y'all doing in dc how y'all doing in new york how y'all doing in brooklyn how y'all doing in queens what's going on california how y'all doing this morning double tap on that screen nanoya is checking in manchester checking in maryland is here trenton is here as well big waco texas is here north carolina is here california here with Wisconsin is here. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Virginia is in the building. What's up, Dallas? How y'all doing? Brooklyn, what up? I see your, um, your UK. London is checking in with me. Chicago, Vegas, uh, Florence, South Carolina. Big Jersey. I see Trinidad checking in. Atlanta checking in. Fort Worth is checking in. Houston, Texas. I see Jersey down there as well. How y'all doing in Atlanta? How y'all doing Greenville, South Carolina? Richmond, Virginia. Pittsburgh, Michigan, Connecticut. How y'all doing? More Louisiana. What's going on in Philly? How, how y'all doing in Oakland? What's up, Michigan? I see y'all checking in on me. More Nolia down here. What's going on? Jacksonville, Florida. Go ahead, double tap as soon as they get the 10K. Soon as TikTok get the 10K, I'm gonna drop my I'm gonna drop my title. And when I drop my title, what I need for y'all to do, I need for y'all to go ahead, man. Go ahead, pick up something extra to throw because I don't want you to throw your phone. I'll need y'all to throw a phone, throw a shoe or something like that because I'm gonna need y'all. I need y'all to be ready, baby. I need for y'all to go ahead and be ready. Go ahead, grab you something that you can throw so you don't have to throw your phone, baby. Hold on to the phone because Coach gonna have some notes for y'all this morning. Double tap on that screen real quick. They at 9.9. They ain't playing with me. There we go. What we going to be talking about today, this right here, is I'm sick and tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I, I know, I know. I came in real hot, real heavy just now. And there's some folk that's, wait a minute, like, hold on, coach. What? I'm co Yeah, yeah. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna start it out just like that. What you say, baby? I'm sick and tired. What's your, I'm, I'm sick and, I'm sick and I'm tired, coach. That's what it is. I'm sick and I'm tired. I feel like I've been doing the same thing forever. Understand that I've been doing the same thing forever. I'm tired of having the same conversations. I'm tired of going back and forth with folk. I'm tired of trying to break things down for folk. I'm tired of trying to make the math math for folk. I'm tired of trying to convince folk about this is what they need to do and how they need to do it. I'm tired, coach. What you say today's topic is I'm sick and I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We you got you got to give them time. They write it down. They they yeah, you got some note takers that's here. You got some note takers here. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
You got some note takers that's in here. They say, say, coach, that, that, that's me. I'm sick and tired. I didn't have the same conversation with the same individual. And I'd have been having that same conversation for five years now. I'm sick and tired of talking about it. And at this point, coach, it don't even feel like a conversation anymore. What it feel like, baby? Oh, baby, it feel like I'm begging. Hello, somebody. Double tap on the screen. What you say? I say it, 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 it's starting to feel like I'm real life begging. I didn't ask them for the same thing for so many years that now it just feels like I'm begging. It feels like I'm running after them. It's, it feels like I have to go outside of my my way to do everything that I possibly can do to show them that I love them, to show them that I'm here, to show them that I care, to show them that they can trust me, to show them that I'm not like the other people that they dated. I'm not like the other people that they dealt with. I'm not like their family members. I'm not like those friends. I'm not like those folks. Coach, I didn't went outside of my way so much fighting for this individual, showing up for this individual, pouring into this individual that now it just feels like I'm begging. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see y'all. Thank y'all so much for the badge, man. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm begging, Coach. I feel like I'm begging. Hold on. We're going to get into it. What I'm saying to you today is that for a very long time, we've gone outside of our way, right? We've gone outside of our way and we've been fighting for relationships. We've been fighting for friendships. We've been fighting for family ships. We've been fighting so much that it's just time now that it, 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 we, I'm done with that. If you if if you done just put I'm done with that I'm, I'm I'm done with that I'm about to make it make sense I'm about to make it make sense I'm done with that I just want y'all to put it in the comment section Oh I'm done with that I'm done with that I just yeah she said Oh yeah she said Come on I I, I got you I, I I'm done with that I see it down here I see TikTok I got they got it down here on TikTok I see y'all I'm done with that Come on let's go Come on Come on Come on Let's go Let me I'm waiting on IG I need it in the comment section I'm done with that I'm done with that There you go I see it coming up right now I'm done with that I need you to declare it over your life I need you to speak it to all every single piece of negative energy that might be surrounding you right now. I need for you to let every devil in hell know. I need you to let every man or woman walk in God's green earth. I need for you to make sure that they know that they understand every negative energy that's surrounding you, that's always coming up and trying to convince you that that's what you're supposed to do, that's pouring into you, that that's what you're supposed to do. I need you to understand that I'm done with that. No more false sense of responsibility. That's not my job to fix you, not my job to save you, not my job to continuously neglect myself for your benefit. If you don't see the potential in you that I see in you, then we're going to have to snip, snip. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a lot and that was fast. Yeah, that was a lot and that was fast. But yeah, we're going to have to snip, snip, right? We're going to have to snip, snip because I can't continuously destroy myself because I'm trying to help you. I can't continuously, you know what I'm saying, go over there and neglect myself because I'm over here trying to help you. And you got to understand this. This is a red ink pen note. This is why I said grab your pens. This is why I was giving you the opportunity to get set up for this here life. You got to understand this right here about your life. Some people, red ink pen note, some people are already committed to not understanding you mm -hmm. okay I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on y'all yeah i'm waiting on y'all what you say coach some some folks are already committed to not understanding you baby you wait what, so what you're doing you wasting your time you wasting your energy you wasting your effort you're having a conversation over and over again with a person that already has a deaf ear to you they're not listening to you they're already committed to not giving you what it is that you want from them they're already committed to not showing up in your life the way that you want them to they're already committed to not loving you the way that you want them to love you. They've already made it up in their mind that I'm not going to do that. And because, oh boy, y'all ready for this video? Are y'all ready for this video? This is mental health month. This is mental health month. So I owe it to y'all to come through this month, right? I owe it to y'all to come through this month. Y'all see our location didn't change. I didn't got us into a place yet. Cause just in case I got to stand up, just in case I got to move around a little bit, I had to make sure I could get up out of that car. I had to make sure that I could move the way that I I need to because I promise you it's going to get real heavy on these live videos, baby. I need for you to understand that it's some folk that's already committed to not understanding you. They're committed to not loving you. They're committed to not showing up for you. They're committed to not being that individual that you want. They're committed to that and that's the reason why every single time that you have a conversation with them it's like you had that conversation 20 times already. Every time you sit down and you want to have a heart to heart. It's like you're doing nothing but saying the same thing over and over and over again. What you say, coach, I'm done with that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm done with. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, double tap on my screen real quick. Yeah, double tap on my screen real quick. The goal is 500k TikTok. Let's go. Double tap. Make sure you hit that share button. She said you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, because some folk are already committed to not loving you the way that you deserve to be loved. That's a red ink pen note right there. So every single time that you continue to sit in that situation and stay connected to something or someone or any type of situation that's causing you, yeah, that's right, to ab abandon the person that you are or is causing you to shrink yourself or that's causing you to dilute the person that you are you are self-sabotaging by choice yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all because I'm already in there. I'm, I'm, I'm already. I'm, I'm TTG this morning. I'm already trained to grow, baby. I'm already trained to go. Right. I'm already ready. I'm already ready. So whenever y'all get ready to dance, y'all just know throw the dancing lady inside the comments, and we gonna get it in today. That's why I'm getting up out that car. Understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever y'all get ready to dance, let me know what you say, Coach. I'm coming up out of that. I'm done with that. I'm done begging people to act right. I'm done going through the absolute most to get folk to act right. I'm done running and folk down to try to get them to act right. I'm done going outside of my way, trying to prove the person that I am, trying to prove my love, trying to make you understand things that you're already committed to not understanding. If you don't see your own potential, if you don't want better for your life, if you're comfortable over there with the bare minimum, if you're cool with mediocre, if you're done and already then threw in the towel on your life, what you gonna do? Note number one, I'm stepping out of the way. That's a fact. What you say? I'm getting I'm getting out of their way. I'm about to get yeah, yeah. Some of y'all need to get out of some of these folks' way because you're self-sabotaging right now because you're trying to help somebody that don't really want your help. Hello, somebody. What you say? I say you're self-sabotaging right now. Note number one is you gotta know when to get out of the way. What you say, coach, you gotta know when to turn it loose. You gotta know when to walk away. You gotta know how to perfect your exit. Understand that. What you gotta do, bow out gracefully. Understand that when folk are already in their situation and they feel like that's all that is gonna be for me. This is all I'm going to ever get. This is all I'm going to ever be. Understand this, how it's been for generations or generations in my life. That's how it's always been done when they are already committed to that thing and already have made that generational curse. They didn't charge it to a generational tradition. What you got to do? Snip, snip. I got to get up out of there, baby. Understand that. And you don't owe nobody no explanation for why you leaving either. Yeah, that right there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That was confirmation for somebody already. Somebody just jumped, slam up out their chair. What you say, coach? You don't owe nobody no explanation for why you're doing what you're doing. You never owe nobody no explanation for you doing what is best for you. Understand that because when them tables turn, you better know for a fact, baby, that they're going to always do what's best for them. When those tables turn, folk are going to always do what's best for them and they don't care how broken that leaves you. Folk are always going to do what's best for them and they don't care how many walls you got to slide down they don't care how upset that you're going to be. They don't care how many therapy sessions that you got to go to. They don't care how many life coaching sessions you got to go and book. They don't care nothing about the seminars or the webinars that you got to get into in order for you to fix your life. Folk going to always do what's best for them. So you owe it to yourself to make yourself a priority in your own life. You owe it to yourself to make sure that you're putting yourself first. You owe it to yourself to make sure that you are your own assignment. You owe it to yourself to make sure that you are not second place, place in your own life. That's right. Get yourself up off the back burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, we done. We done with the fight, baby. We done with the fight. We done with the fight. What you say, coach? We done with the fighting. We done with the fighting. I want you to, we done with the fighting. I want you to understand that they got, they got a terminology for that, right? They call it fight or flight, right? They call it fight or flight. And most people don't understand that if you break that fight or flight down, what does that mean, coach? Well, if you go into the dictionary, it is a trauma response, right? It's a trauma response. It's something that happens inside of your body when you start to feel mm, at danger. Come on, talk to me nice now. Come, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all because we should be at 100K TikTok. Double tap on the screen because I, 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 I want to get there. I want you to understand that it's called fight or flight. It's your body. It's, it's a trauma response and it's giving you a decision right then and there. Are you going to fight or are you going to run away? What are you going to do? It's a trauma response that, get, that triggers your body to let you know when it sense some type of danger. That's when your body start warming up. That's 
that's when you start looking for a plastic bag or a, or a paper bag because you got to blow into it. That's when you over there, you don't know what's going on in your life. And what I want you to understand is this right here. You have got to stop responding to life through trauma. That's a fact, yo, yo, come on, yo, 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 I, yo, you gonna have to stop because we, we, we done doing all the fighting. What you trying to tell me, coach? I'm telling you right now, the, that, 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 that fight or flight, that only, that, that only applies to people who still have broken thinking. Come on, that's a note for somebody. What you say, baby, that only is, that, 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 that only applies to folk that still got stinking thinking. It only applies to people that are still broken. It only applies to people that don't know their worth, that's not self-aware. It only only applies to those type of folk. Why do you say that, coach? Because when you've already made up in your mind who you are, when you already know your worth, when you already know the man or woman that you are and the caliber of man or woman that you are, when you already know what you bring to the table, you don't get anxiety at the first sign of struggle. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait because it's about to get heavy. I'm gonna wait. Uh, yeah. Let me get five badges, IG. Let me get five badges, IG, because that right there, I know that took somebody. Yeah, yeah. Friend said, "Woo." I, your friend, hold on to your seat because yeah, I, I, I got some more. I got some more because I got notes. I got notes. So hold, hold on, hold on. We ain't even got into the notes good yet. But this the month of October. This is Mental Health Month, which means that yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be talking heavy all month, all month long. We gonna be heavy. I need for you to understand something. Which is, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting on them. I need me. Get Get five badges, IG. Double tap on that screen. Y'all at 73.074.1K. Oh, Double tap on the screen. Let's go. I see the gifts coming. Appreciate those roses, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Bless me up real quick. Bless me up real quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because I'm ready to get into it. I need for you to understand what you're trying to what you're trying to tell me, coach. That only applies to people who have broken thinking. Understand that it only applies to people who don't know their worth. It only applies to people that don't know the man or woman that they truly are. So anytime Anytime any type of hardship come, anytime a struggle, a trial, a tribulation, or a dark hour come, I got to stand up. That's the reason why I came in. Understand that anytime a struggle, a hardship, a trial, or something comes into your life, what happens? You get thrown off. You automatically start to respond with that trauma response, which is fight or flight. But what I'm trying to tell you is when you know who you are, you don't get afraid. When you know what you bring to the table, you don't get the shaking in your boots. When you know who you are, you know exactly what you bring to the table. So what happens is when life hits you, understand that when the un inconsistencies start to happen, when you start to feel a certain type of way, instead of you whining and crying and falling all out like everybody else, what you do? I go into prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I go, I go, I go into prayer. I go into prayer. What you do? I go into prayer. I want you to understand what, 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 coach? What you trying to tell me? I go into prayer. Why do you go into prayer? Note number two is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 come on, man. Come on now. Come on. Bless me up. What you say? I say I gotta go in prayer. Why do you go into prayer? Because in that moment, what I realized, instead of me having the broken thinking where I would go into flight, fight or flight, now I have a healthy mindset. So instead of me looking at this situation like it's about to take me out I now look at this situation like what a distraction yeah yeah I'm waiting on my note takers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah come on double tap what you say? I say now I, I I look at it as a distraction. I look at it as a distraction. Come on, double tap on the screen. And I I, uh, I used to look at it and think that I have to fight or flight. I used to look at it and I would have a trauma response to it. I used to look at it and I would just go go into crying. I would go sit in the tub. I would go to pace in the floor. I would go automatically into a panic. I would go automatically into a stress attack. Now that I know what it is, I know that it's a distraction. Why? Because every new level is going to have a new devil and you got to understand that distractions come in all types of different forms so what happens is the more that you work on yourself the more that you pour into yourself the more that you start to take yourself seriously you got to understand that this is a note right here you got to understand that you can't have more of one thing without having more of the other 
Break that down for me, coach. Break that down for me, coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, when you're in that situation, you're looking at the pain that you're going through. I'm in so much pain right now. I'm going through so much hell right now, coach. You don't understand. It's dark over here. You don't understand that. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't understand what it is that I'm dealing with. My family's falling apart. My friendships are falling apart. I'm going through hell right now in my life, and I don't know how I'm going to get out of this situation. I don't know how I'm going to be able to maintain. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get to my next level because you don't know that I, it, it, it's just painful right now. But what happens is we become so obsessed with the pain. Come on, double tap on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You become so obsessed with the pain of what's going on that you don't realize that that pain just became the distraction. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'm, I'm waiting on them. I see y'all. Y'all at 100K TikTok. TikTok, I'm talking about TikTok. 100K TikTok. Shout out to y'all, man. Keep it going. Double tap on that screen, man. I love y'all, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's double tap on the screen. Appreciate those flowers. Yeah, you got to understand that. What you say, coach? I said that you become so obsessed with the pain. You become so obsessed with the dark hour. You become so obsessed with the trial or the tribulation or the hardship that you're going through that you don't even realize that those things are sent not to destroy you, but to destroy you. What did you say, coach? That's a note right there. Understand that she's putting all the highlights in here for y'all. TikTok, y'all got all the notes. She's putting them up there right there for you. You got to understand that those things are sent to distract you. Those things do not have the power to destroy you. So when you're in that hard hour, when you're in that wilderness, when you're going through all this hell and high water in your life, if you focus on the pain, then you're distracting yourself from your mission. You're distracting and neglecting yourself. You're not working on yourself. That's why it's important for you to make up your mind who you're going to be before the pain comes. Right? You got to know. You, you, you. Yeah. That, good morning, Brooke. How you doing? That, that's right. She already on top of me. She already know what time it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to make up your mind who you're going to be who, before the pain comes. Before the pain comes, I got to know who am I going to be? If Am I going to be one of those people that's going to be running around scared? Am I going to be one of those people that's going to sit in the corner and cry? Am I going to be one of those people that's going to be running around trying to talk to everybody that, that that's going to listen about what it is that I'm going through? Am I going to be one of those people that's going to throw my whole mission away? Am I going to be one of those people that's going to give up right Right there before what had the old people say, am I going to be one of those people that's going to break down before my breakthrough? You don't know how many times, right? You don't know how many times that you done threw in the towel and all you had to do was wait one more day. Come on, church folk. I know y'all ready for that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know how many times that you missed your blessing because you gave up right, yeah, yeah, right before the breakthrough came. You turned right back around right before your opportunity was right there. Why? Because I was running scared. Running scared because of the lies that you're telling yourself. Running, coach, what you mean? You, you, you running scared because you were scared of your own potential. You were scared of your own growth, your, your, your own development. You were afraid of what you can really do if you separate yourself from them folk. You didn't lie to yourself for so long thinking that you needed them, that without them you wouldn't be anything, that without them you couldn't make it. You didn't lie to yourself so much that you started to believe the lies that you were telling yourself. Here you are, don't even, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon as you start working on it and you see that it's working for you, you get scared. You get scared. So you talk yourself out. So Soon as you see that the door is about to open, guess what you do? You get scared. So you run back the other way. You got to stop being scared of your own potential. That's a note right there. I, yeah, coach, that's me. That's me. I've been scared of my own potential. I know I got the right skill set. I know I got the real, I got the right skill set. I know exactly what I need to do to be able to make it happen. I know I, I got the right grit. I got the right grind. I know that if I step out there, then I can show enough do it. I know if I start my business, that it'll be successful. I know that if I really get out there, that, that, that yeah, yeah, I got enough support that they will actually come through for me. I know that I can do it, but what's the hold up? The hold up is not the skill set. The hold up is the mindset yeah 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 what you say coach the the, the hold up ain't the, the skill set the hold up is the mindset 
It's the mindset. You keep talking yourself out. Friends say guilty. That's what's up. Yo, be open. Be honest. Be transparent. You know what I mean? Double tap on the screen, man. Double tap on the screen, TikTok. Let's go. Send me some love. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of my own potential. I'm scared of my own potential. Not only am I scared of my own potential, I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of what other folk gonna think. I'm afraid if, if, if I do that, then what is it gonna cost me in the end? I'm a, yeah, yeah. Because see, I, I, I know what I wanna do and I know how I wanna do it. But if I step out there and I start doing this, I know that it's gonna cost me some people. I know that it's going to cost me some relationships. If I step up and I start speaking on what I know is not right, then I know that it's going to offend some folk. Why? Because we've been taught for so long just to go along with the go along, just to play nice, just to you know, bite your tongue. Everything ain't need, ain't meant for to be said. But you got to understand that we're in a season right now where you can't afford to play nice. That's a note. <laughs> yeah, what you say? I, I can't, I can't, yo, yeah. I, I just want y'all to put it in the comment section. I can't afford to play nice. I can't afford to play nice, baby. I'm in a season of my life right now. I can't afford to play nice. I can't afford to play nice. No, I'm checking you right there where you stand. That what you say, coach, I'm checking you right there where you stand. I'm addressing it right there where you stand. I'm gonna get you together right there where you stand. Back in the day, the old folk used to say, wherever you show out at, that's where you're gonna get disciplined at. Understand that. I want you to understand that I'm done playing nice with folk because the more that you play nice with people, the more that you sugarcoat you, the more that you water you down, the more that you go along and pretend to be okay with things that you know that you're not okay with. What you're doing in that moment is creating a pattern. You're letting people be so understanding with folk that you're making them think that it's okay for them to play with you. You're being so nice and so understanding and so forgiving that you got folk playing in your face. They, 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 they Right there insulting your intelligence. Right there lying to your face when they know for a fact that you know the truth they sitting right there twisting and turning things right there in your face but because you don't want drama I don't want that drama I just ain't gonna say nothing oh baby the devil is a lie I'm in a season right now where I ain't playing nice I want all the smoke mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call it whatever you want. I'm gonna get you together though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you together right there. And guess what? And after I get you together, I'm walking smooth off. Peace still intact. Hello, somebody. What you say? I'm walking smooth off. Peace still intact. Understand that when you genuinely love a person, I don't want to get into my tomorrow's message, but I want to say this: when you genuinely love a person, you have got to understand that it's not about pleasing that individual. Hello, somebody. Y'all think that people pleasing is loving and people pleasing is not loving people pleasing understand that ain't got a doggone thing to do with love because when you love a individual you check them when you love a individual you hold them accountable when you love an individual you call them out on what it is that they got going on if it ain't right and you know that it's not right you're going to address it because you don't want to see anything harmful come to somebody that you love but when you're people pleasing you're giving them what they want because you don't want to lose them yeah that yeah that you're gonna hear that again tomorrow though but it, it just went it just went too well right there for me to leave it out it just I, i'm sorry it just went it just went too well right there for me to put for me to leave it out yeah some of y'all y'all focus yeah, let's let's get back yeah I, I i it just went too well double tap on the friends say this is so good well you know what i appreciate you tuning in do me a favor hit that share on the live y'all at 135.4k come on tiktok let's go double tap on that screen real quick let me get five badges ig double tap on the screen i need for you to understand the days of us showing up and responding to life through our trauma those days are done. We're no longer doing this fight thing. We're not no longer squaring up with people and doing the absolute most. We're learning how to exit and we're doing it in peace. We're learning how to address issues in a respectful way and walking smooth off and understanding that my forgiveness does not require or warrant a what? A reconnection. I can forgive you and we can never speak again. I can forgive you. I don't have to slander you. I don't have to belittle you. I don't have to try to expose you. I don't have to go outside of my way to try to make you look bad all I gotta do is take care of me all I gotta do is fix me all I gotta do is handle my own personal business but the problem happens is we get so caught up in what we get so caught up in the distraction we get so caught up in the hurt we get so caught up in the pain we get so caught up in the betrayal that we feel like it's our responsibility to go and handle that first I gotta tell my side first I gotta make it make sense first I gotta let something make 
sure that people get it first. And that's not your job. That's not your assignment. When you've been real, when you've been solid, then you just what? I stand right there on that. And I let chips fall, bridges burn, baby. If you waiting on me to come clear it up, hold your breath. But it's about the perception because when you're looking at it and you're looking at those things, right? Those distractions in your life. And you're like, I've never been through so much pain in my life. But you're not looking at the flip side of it. That pain that you're in is the reason why you're in prayer the way that you are. I'm trying to show you how the enemy would get inside of your mind and play these mind games. I'm trying to show you how the enemy would trick, twist, and turn your thoughts to try to make you think that you're crazy, to try to make you think that you're off base, that you're off your rockers. I want you to understand that if he can keep you focused on the negative, that's what you will continue to produce. If he can keep you focused on the brokenness, you will continue to produce that. If you keep focusing on that patrol, that you would continue to produce that in these situations. This is free game that I'm giving you right now. You got to understand that as long as you're focused on those things, you thinking it's so much pain, but you're not looking at how it increased your prayer life. You're looking at the trials and the tribulations, but you're not seeing how those same trials and those same tribulations forced you into therapy, forced you into motivational speaking, listening to speakers, forced you to connect with people like coaches, mindset coaches, put you in environments that can help you. It's, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting on y'all. You looking, you, you, you so caught up. You so caught up in the distractions that you're not looking at the blessing that is attached to it. That's a note right there. Don't get so caught up in the distraction that you don't see the blessing that's attached to it. Why? Because you can't have more of one thing without having more of the other. If you want more of this, you better know that it's going to require more work on your behalf. It's not going to just fall into your lap. It's not going to just magically appear over in your life. You're going to have to get up. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're going to have to show up different. You're going to have to practice a level of self-discipline and self-accountability and self-awareness within yourself that you've never had before. It's going to require you to create a brand new version of yourself. If you understand what I'm saying, I just want you to put in my comment section Real quick, I got it, coach. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, yeah, yeah, friend, friend say scream for the folks in the back. I just, I just, I, 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 I just, I need for you to say that I, I got it, coach. You can't have more of one thing without having more of the other. So you want a bigger blessing? You better prepare yourself to pray more. You want a bigger life? Then you better prepare yourself to fast more. You better learn how to meditate more. You better learn how to manifest more. You got to become dedicated to learning. You got to get into that filtering process. Process, you got to understand that I ain't got no room in my life to do what? Slack. I can't be slack in my life. Be, why can't you be slack in your life? Because you got to understand this right here. The moment that you get slack, all the enemy needs is a small space. I'm talking about very small space. All the enemy needs is a very small space to slide right on in there. So if you're not fueling your mind space to the fullest capacity with good things, beneficial things, things that are going to help you grow and heal and push you to your next level. All the enemy needs is a small space right like that there. All That's all they need to slide in and start planting those seeds of doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Small space, small space. Small space. All you need is that small space. All you need is that. All, all, all you need is that small space. And I, I'm about to rock. I'm about to rock somebody's world in just one second. I'm still on distractions. I ain't even got to my next note yet. But yeah, yeah. Like, what would you say? All he needs is a small space. All he needs is a small space. That's how important it is for you to stay locked in with yourself. When we on here and I'm giving these videos, when I'm showing up in these different cities and I'm over here and I'm doing everything that I'm doing from yelling and screaming and making sure y'all get this. This is because I want to awaken that part that's inside.
inside of you that you keep saying, no, can't do it. I want to address that inner doubt. I want to help you shut down that negative dialogue, those things that's telling you that you're not capable. See, I ain't got time to whisper to you. I ain't got time to tiptoe around subjects. I ain't got time to avoid the elephant in the room. I got to give it to you real. I got to give it to you raw. I got to give it to you uncut because the reason why most of us are still in the same situations that we've been in for years on top of years on top of years is because people have been trying to play nice. People have been sugarcoating it. People have been watering it down because they are concerned about hurting your feelings. They are concerned about making you angry. They are concerned about you not going to follow me. You're not going to support me. You're not going to do I do not care. Let's just be real about it. I don't. I, I don't be caring. And the people that know me, they know. They'll tell you, now, she really, I don't care. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to help you fix your life. I'm here to show you that you deserve to be uh, happy, to deserve to be loved correctly. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be in a relationship that can help you sleep. Your relationship be able, should be able to help you feel sleep. You want me to tell you why it should help you sleep? should help you uh, look good and feel good and eat good. Why? Because your relationship in every capacity should be a safe space for you. Mm. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that back, Divine. I'm going to run that back. I'm going to run that part back right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I said to you is, yo, I'm here to make sure that you understand that you deserve to be loved. You correctly. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be valued in any type of relationship. That's a friendship, a relationship, a situationship, a family ship, a job ship. That's whatever ship that you're on with whomever. You deserve those things. Those things are the the bare minimum. And when you're in that relationship, you deserve to be able to eat good, to be able to sleep good, to be able to maneuver throughout your day in that relationship without any stress or anxiety. Why? Because in that relationship, you should feel safe. That's a fact. Yeah, you should feel safe. Yeah, you should you you should feel safe in that relationship. And if you don't feel safe in that relationship, if you tiptoeing around in that relationship, if you don't know where y'all stand from one day to the next, you don't know if y'all own or if y'all off. You don't know if they love you today and don't love you tomorrow. If y'all gonna still be good here, there, and everywhere, then it's time for you to go ahead and exit left. It's time for you to snip, snip. It's time for you to abort that mission. It's time for you to get up out of there expeditiously. The days of staying connected to anything, any conversations, any relationships, in any type of form or fashion where you have to abandon the person that you are, those days are over. In the comments section, I just need you to put real quick, I'm over that. Baby, I'm over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not yeah, I'm not being second in nobody's life no more. I played with that long enough. I was in I was in relationship torture for long enough. I was, yeah, come on. Oh, some of y'all gonna get mad about that. I know you love your boo-boo, your bun-bun, and you don't want to look at them that way but let me can, can, can I go deep if I can go deep just put go deep can I go deep can I go deep because I know y'all don't like me to talk about your significant others but baby I'm not here to be friends and I just told y'all that before I got here because I already knew that it was going to offend some folk but I just want to go deep if I oh 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 TikTok don't waste no time they be like go deep coach double tap on that screen give me the 200k I see y'all at 173 let's go Double, oh, I'm, I'm about to go deep. I'm waiting on them. I got to wait on my folk to get. I got to wait on my folk to get caught up. Go deep. I, I, I need some go deep up here. I need some go deep. Okay, I see it right there. Okay, she's so extra. Say yeah, go deep, coach. Go 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 deep. So I can talk about the significant others. Double tap on the screen. We waiting. They almost at 200k, and we going we going deep, baby. We going deep. This ain't even in our notes, but it's about to be in our notes right now today. Understand that because I'm showing you how you become so distracted with other things in your life. You become so distracted with the hurt and the. Pain that you start hoarding all these negative things and you thinking that you holding on to them is going to it's going to fix the situation but it don't you think that you dragging it out for years it's going to fix it but it's not you thinking that you refusing to forgive them is going to heal you and that's just not how that works because your forgiveness ain't for them you are forgiving because it's you and your forgiveness do not give them a pass either understand that I forgive you and I'm going on about my business heal over there do what you need to do over there and I wish you the best in life I want 
want you to eat good, live good, just not with me, baby. Hello, somebody. They said that I can go deep, and here it is, because like I said, some of y'all be over there, and y'all trying to make it make sense with folk. Y'all holding on to folk. Y'all going outside of y'all relationships with these folks, and you thinking, oh, okay, well, I, I just don't want to do it without them, coach, but the main reason why you're not living up to your fullest potential is them. Because the blessings that's attached to you, it's not for them. The doors that got to be open for you, those doors are for you. It's not for them. And a lot of times y'all get so caught up in your loyalty with other people that you become disloyal to yourself. You so loyal to them. You show up every time they call. You willing to bend over backwards. You over walking on coal. You over there jumping through fire rings. You over there sacrificing your time, sacrificing your energy and your effort. If sitting up there falling asleep on your own assignment, over there too tired to get your words of prayer out, can't even meditate because why? You've given everything that you had to everybody else. You've given them the best of you and then you whatever's left you just take on for yourself. Friends say, I'm guilty. Send me some love. Send me, yeah, send me, send me some love. Send me some love. Double tap on the screen. Let's just be real. What you say, coach? That's a note. Put it in the notes right there. You so loyal to them that you disloyal to yourself. You can tell, you can tell them their favorite cover, color. You know their favorite food. You know their favorite pastime. You know what they like to do when they over there doing their thing. You know exactly what to do for them. But let me ask you that about you. Let me ask you what's your favorite color. Let me ask you what you enjoy doing. Let me ask you how you feeling. Some of y'all right now are so broken in life. Some of you right now, you're hurting so much in life because you've been holding the whole weight of the world on your shoulder. You've been carrying your family's burden. You've been carrying those broken friendships. You've been carrying those let down Zoe betrayals over and over. You've been carrying that so much that if somebody just simply embraced you for two seconds, you will melt. You will burst in tears because the only thing that you're doing all throughout your life is giving, is bending over backwards, is sacrificing, is people pleasing, is making sure that everybody else is getting everything that they need, that you don't understand that your loyalty is the reason why you are suffocating okay okay yeah dad i just yeah 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 I, your, your, your loyalty to them you see the potential in them that they don't see you see what they capable of that they don't see you know what i mean you see the talents all over them but they don't see it why because they already committed to the life that they already live in and you are so afraid to walk away because you feel like you are you have to be loyal i don't want them to say that i'm not loyal i don't want them to say that i'm not dependable i'm not i don't want them to think that i'm not reliable i don't want them to think that i just abandoned them i don't want them to think that i just walked away and you become so obsessed with how somebody else see you how somebody else feels about you and what somebody else thinks about you not understanding that a lot of times the only reason why those people and y'all said I could go here y'all said I can go here so don't be trying to get mad at me when I do it the, the only reason why those people are still connected to you and you think that they're connected to you because of your loyalty you think that they're connected to you because of your love you think that they're connected to you because they respect you you think that they're connected to you because they want that the relationship or they see something good that's in you no they're connected Connected to you because they see that you're weak-minded. They see that you're gullible. They see that they got a soft spot in your heart. You got a soft spot for them. They see that they can go out and do whatever they want to do and they can spin the block for you. Why? Because they got your heart in their pocket. They got you wrapped around their finger. They know exactly what to say and what to do to be able to control you because they got you up under their finger. So what they do is they manipulate you by using the word loyalty. Yeah. That's your that's your boo-boo. That's your bun bun. That's the one you lay next to. That's the one you go outside your way for. Friends say you unwrapping it for me. Come on, let's be real. Because a person that genuinely love you, that support you, that want to see you operating at your fullest potential, that wants to see you doing well in life, you got to understand that they will not put you in a situation where it's going to be damaging to you. They will not put you in a situation where you're going to be uncomfortable. They will not put you in a situation where they can potentially lose you. A person that values you they protect the relationship that they have with you 
Okay. Okay. I'm I, I, okay. 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you. <laughs> yeah. Friend. Okay. Friend. I'm waiting on y'all to bless me up. Send me some love. Mm -hmm. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. I see y'all tapping in. I see y'all double tapping. Let's go. Let's go. See, at, at one point or, or another, we got to stop sugarcoating information. You know what I'm saying? We get told a lot. We get told a lot of things, right? We get told a lot of things because I, I got some more on that. I got some more that I want to say to that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't run through my notes like this in in New Orleans, but I'm running through it right now. I just because yeah, this 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 gonna be a little a small repeat. I I, I but I, I didn't get to say this part, and it was bothering me that I didn't get to say this part. So now I'm about to say this part. But I'm I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, that's right. That's right, friend. Go ahead and get the folks in the back real quick. Double tap them. They back there talking. Pull, pull them on in the video real quick because what yeah thank you so much i see the badges coming through i appreciate y'all we need about 10 more badges to reach the goal of 40 double tap on the screen man y'all down here y'all are at 233.9 let's go double tap on the screen i i i, I want to go deeper than that because we get so caught up in that loyalty that we feel like we owe them something so now we have that false sense of responsibility and what we don't know is they're going outside of their way because they see that we are vulnerable for them we they see that soft spot they see that you love them they see that you're concerned about that relationship. And that's the reason why I tell y'all all the time that when things are going good in your life, you still what? You still owe it to yourself, even in those moments. Good morning, Heather. You oh, good afternoon. You still owe it to yourself to, to have that same faith, to have that same drive, to have that same passion. You have to have that same grit and you have to have that all the way through. You got to stop giving yourself permission to slow down. Stop giving yourself permission to stop. Get, stop giving yourself permission to give up on you. You got to follow this thing all the way through. Come hell or high water, baby. Sink or swim. Guess what? I got to get over to the finish line. I cannot afford to break down before my breakthrough. Understand that because it's some folks in your life, the only thing that they want from you is what they can gain from you. They, they don't love you. They love the benefits of you. They don't want the relationship. They want the benefits. Understand that. They, that's the reason why they won't give you a title. I don't want to put the title on it because if I put a title on it, I understand that that title is going to come with responsibility and I don't want the responsibility of treating you with that type of respect. I don't want the responsibility of giving you that type of love. I don't want the responsibility or don't want to do that type of work that is going to require to keep me in your life. So what I do is I keep you over there in relationship torture where you don't know what we are, when we're going to be doing this, that, and the third. And anytime that you ask me for something that I feel like I don't want to give or I don't want to do for you, then I use this. You ain't mine. We ain't together. We ain't in no relationship that's a relationship thing but you lay up with me like we are you got me washing clothes cooking meals and picking up man man and bonquisha like i'm a stepmama baby uh, uh, no 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 come on over here because y'all had already said i could talk about it i yeah 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 see you got me doing relationship duties with no real relationship i'm over here having relationship problems with no real relationship and that's the reason why i said tag your bestie because see your bestie want to talk your ear off about that individual they want to take you to brunch they want to sit up at the church at the church service that went over they got you out there in the parking lot for over an hour and a half, right? And they still having the same conversation about that individual that they're connected to and they've already seen every single ounce of, of disrespect. They already know that this individual ain't capable. Already know that this individual it cannot reciprocate. They know all of this anyway, but they want the attention now at this point because I'm, when I said I'm done, uh, I'm done with that. We ain't having no more. Yeah, that, that, that dog chasing his tail type of, uh, we ain't having no more of those. That hamster on the treadmill, we ain't doing no more of those kind conversations that tennis and conversation oh we ain't doing no more of those baby understand that once we talk about it we talked about it once we come with a resolution we came with a resolution what you trying to tell me coach it's time to cut it loose turn him or her loose turn them loose it's not your job to fix everybody and people pleasing it's not love that's two totally different things if you love them you will hold them accountable if you love them you will correct them if you love them you will point out that this right here, this ain't right. That's how you operate with people that you love. It's not love if I can't check you and you still have respect for me. I ain't here to be your yes man. I ain't here to be your yes woman. If we in each other's life, we here to make each other's life better. 
but we don't feel safe in these relationships. And the reason why we, we could tell that we don't feel safe in the relationship, the reason why you could tell that you don't feel safe in that relationship is because having hard conversations gives you anxiety. Y'all said I could talk about y'all relationship. Mm. Some of y'all right now are supposed to have been having a conversation that you ain't had yet. Some of y'all right now, yeah, you've been, you've been, yeah, you've been going back and forth with in, in your mind all the things that you didn't, you gonna say, you didn't pull out your notebook, you didn't wrote a four page letter, you didn't did the whole Aaliyah, baby, you didn't wrote your four page letter, you didn't wrote it all the way out, sweetheart, and here you are, you didn't jot down all your points, you know exactly what you want to say, you didn't put your highlights out there, you some of y'all didn't even got a highlight a pen, some of y'all get like me, cause y'all know I'm the wretched life coach, so what we didn't did, we didn't got an ink pen and circled the part, so you didn't sat over there and you didn't wrote down every single thing that you want to say. But guess what? That conversation still have not left your lips. Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm waiting on y'all. Y'all might as well bless me up. I see the flowers coming through. Yeah, you might as well say ouch and send a badge, baby. Send ouch and say, say uh, IG. Say ouch and send a badge. TikTok, say ouch and send a gift. Let's just be real. Coach, that's me. And, and, and the reason, and that's how I know that you don't feel safe in your relationship. And you over there trying to figure out why you walking around looking like a 13-year-old boy going through puberty. You over there trying to figure out why you can't sleep peacefully at night. You over there trying to figure out why you missing all these meals. And it's all the things that you really enjoy eating. But the taste from your food is no longer there because of your stress level. You can't rest in your bed because the stress that you have have robbed you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it took the the, the the sleep right on up out your bed. You can't even calm down. Your mental health is is, is at it's, it, it all through the roof right now. Why? Because you don't know if you coming or going because of this individual. When they walk in the house, you clam up. Every single time your phone ring, you get instantly you get warm because you don't know if this gonna go good or if it's gonna be bad. I don't know if we gonna have a good day or we gonna have a bad day. Y'all didn't up that. I mean. I'm talking about some of y'all connected to folk. They don't just stress y'all out. They stress the children out too. The kids, they go in the room as soon as they walk in the door. You ask them, why y'all playing in the room? They don't want to come out. They don't even want to deal with it. They so sick and tired of the drama. They so sick and tired of the fussing and the fighting. They so sick and tired of the extraness. Man, man, and Bonquisha, they'll sit in there and play Roblox all day before they come out there and try to deal with y'all in any type of way, shape, or form or fashion. So what you saying? I'm trying to tell you that you holding on to a relationship. Understand that. That you don't feel safe in because if you felt safe in that relationship then you would have been having these heart to heart conversations that's what I'm saying but you stay because of potential you stay because I don't want to break up my family I, you, you, you stay thinking that it's going to make you better not understanding that you staying is just showing them that you're going to tolerate the disrespect. You staying connected is just showing them that you are that weak person that they tell you in anger that you are. That they tell you with those disrespectful jokes that you are. They look at you like you don't have a backbone. Like you don't have it in you to walk away. Because you keep saying, I'm leaving, but never leave. You keep saying, I'm disconnecting but stay connected so they can disrespect you and still have the same access. They can disrespect you and still reap the benefits of you. They can disrespect you and still walk right back in and pretend as though nothing ever happened. Why? Because you have made it okay by allowing yourself to be okay with things that you're really not okay with. So you're not safe in the relationship. And you're saying, I want to be soft. I want to be gentle. I want to let a person lead. I want to do this. You're not going to let nobody lead you. And it, it ain't a good thing anyway to put your life in nobody's irresponsible hands. They ain't even responsible enough in their own life. How they going to be responsible in yours? They ain't even showing up in their own life. How in the world do you think that they are about to show up in theirs, in yours? If they can't, won't even wake up and do the, the, the necessary work to be able to correct themselves and their own behavior, what in the world makes you think that you can follow that individual anywhere? Oh, baby, the devil is a lie. I, yeah, that, go find you somebody else to play with. But that's being loyal. And you're allowing that loyalty, that people pleasing, being distracted by the distractions, holding and hoarding negative feelings. You allow those things to hold you back. So you spend your time, your energy, and your effort cuddling 
and cradling your trauma. What'd you say? I said, <laughs> what'd, you, what'd, you, what'd you say? I said, I say you cuddling and cradling your trauma. What you mean, coach? You babysitting your trauma. I'm going to do just enough to be able to go to sleep. And sometimes we start doing what? Drinking, smoking, and everything else. Just so we can ease the pain. Because if I, if I do this, it's going to help me sleep. If I do this, it's going to help me focus. If I, you know, go out and I party until I pass out, then that, you know, I, I, I'll be fine. But what you going to do when that wears off? Because it's going to wear off and reality is still going to be right there in your face. Because when that wears off, you're still going to have to deal with you. You're going to have to uncloud your mind. You're going to have to declutter your space. You're going to have to give yourself permission to walk away the same way you gave yourself permission to stay. You have a divine right of choice. If you don't like what's going on in your life, if you don't like the things that you're having to deal with in your life, if you're unhappy in your life, you owe it to yourself to make a change. And if you don't make a change in your life, then you can't put that on somebody else. You're choosing to stay stuck. You're choosing to stay stagnant. You're choosing to stay in that uncomfortable disrespectful type of situation. That's your choice. Because I don't know who needs to hear it. But there's no bars surrounding you. There's no imaginary door that you got to walk out of. There's nobody showing up with a key in your life. It's right here. You ain't got to wait on them to say they don't want the relationship no more. You ain't got to wait on them to come tell you in, they, in your face that it's done. You ain't got to wait on them to come look you eyeball to eyeball. You don't have to wait on that. The disrespect was the closure. Y'all need to put that, y'all put it in the comment section. Mm -hmm. What was the closure? What was the closure? Put it in the comment section. What was the closure? What was the closure? What was the closure? Some of y'all, yeah, I, 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 cause I need y'all to know that. I need, I need for y'all, I need some of y'all to know that like no, none other, none other. I'm tired of y'all talking about this closure word. I'm there. That, that, what's the closure? That, there you go. I see it. I see it. Y'all got it coming. Double tap on the screen. Y'all at 307.4K. Let's go TikTok. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah the, the, the closure is what? Okay. Now I see it. The disrespect, the disrespect. I want you to remind yourself of that every single day. The moment that you start reminiscing about that individual and all the love that y'all used to have all the fun times that y'all used to have i want you to reminisce right on back over there to the disrespect yeah that's right every time you think about yeah we were so happy at one point and it was so this and it was so that but why y'all not that anymore oh it was the disrespect the disrespect is the closure that was all the closure that i needed you showed me who you were and now i'm gonna have to take you as that i cannot love the afford to do what i can't afford to be the lulu i can't afford that baby i can't afford to live in the make-believe world anymore i can't afford to play pretend anymore I can't afford that in my life because me playing pretend is the reason how I got in this situation. Me playing nice to get along is how I got into this situation. Me not addressing issues is how I got into this situation. Me avoiding hard conversations is how I got into this situation. Me over there people pleasing, thinking that it's love, that's how I got into these situations. Me being distracted from myself and my, yeah, 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 that's how I got in this situation. Me self-neglecting, that's how I got into to this situation because I've been doing everything up under the sun to give to everybody else to make sure everybody else was good that guess what I'm in this situation not because of somebody else I'm in this situation because of me what are we going to call that coach self accountability yeah. so yeah that, that's self accountability baby yeah I'm taking back my power this morning the October is mental health month 
I'm going to be talking about self-accountability. I'm going to be talking about self-ownership. I'm going to be talking about rebuilding yourself for yourself, by yourself. Understand that. Yeah, because this right here, this is this ain't no group project. This ain't a group project. You don't need nobody to come and contribute a part to whatever it is that you got going on. You don't need nobody to come and fix you in no type of way, shape, or form. If you're not following my page, make sure you hit that follow button, IG. I need for you to understand. I don't need you to fix me. I need you to get out of my way so that I can fix myself. I need you to step over to the side so that I can fix myself. I need you to respect me enough to understand that I'm in a broken state right now and that I'm trying to heal. So I don't need you trying to add no pressure. I don't need you trying to run me down. I don't need you trying to be consistent or persistent in my life because you think that I'm beautiful, because you think it's this and that. I don't need you. I don't need none of that. I don't need you coming and dumping none of that on me because why? If you're doing that, then I already know what you're trying to do. You're trying to manipulate me. You're trying to, to distract me. That's right. That's for my people. That's right now. You got those folks that's in your inbox and you've been hell bent on trying to fix your life. You've been hell bent on trying to grow and trying to heal and evolve in your life. And all of a sudden, yep. Now all of a sudden, everybody and their mama want to talk to you. You getting that hey big head text. You they all in your inbox. Everybody wants something. Everybody wants this and the third. But when you was broken, when you was down bad, and you was going through hell, what nobody calling to check on you? What nobody knocking on your door? What nobody pulling up on doing no wellness check? Wasn't nobody asking you if you needed a friend, if you needed to talk? But now that you're working on yourself, now they see that you're coming up, that you're growing, that you're healing, that you're developing into this new man or new woman. Everybody want a piece of the pie. Everybody want to be connected. Everybody wants some type of part to you. You got to understand that when you're in the healing stages of your life, you do not go over there and start trying to attach yourself to nobody. Understand that. No, get on up out my face, distraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. You a distraction. A beautiful one, but a distraction nonetheless. A good smelling one, but a distraction nonetheless. That's right. I see you. I see you living good, driving nice, nice house, nice income, but a distraction nonetheless. And I can't afford that. Why? Because my peace is priceless. Hello, somebody. Because my peace is priceless. And when you get caught up in those materialistic things, you got to also understand that it all comes with what? It comes with a price. That's a red ink pen note. It's all going to come with a price. Might cost a little, might cost a lot, but it's going to cost you something. Understand that it's going to come with a price and your peace should be priceless. You should be at a place in your life right now where you understand that it's nothing more important to me right now than my healing. I might miss a couple of, of dinner dates, but this healing I got to get. I might not be able to do all those brunches that we used to do, but this healing, this healing I got to get. I might not be able to hang out with y'all the way that I used to. We might not be able to do the, you know what I'm saying, the things that we used to do right now because I need a moment of what? I need a moment of isolation. Hold on. Hold on yeah, yeah. What'd you say, coach? I need a moment of isolation. See, I've been, I've been, I've been busy for so long. What you been doing? I'm trying to get off of here, but yeah, I've been busy for so long. What you mean you've been busy? I've been creating things to do so that I don't focus on on myself okay look what you say I, I I've been busy I've been I've, I've been busy yeah come on that's a note right there I've been busy I've been what I've been fake busy coach let, let's just be real about it I've been fake busy I've been doing everything that I could possibly do to, to busy up my mind to have me moving around so that I don't do the work on myself I've been crowding my mind to make sure that I'm doing this this and this so I don't have to actually sit down and unpack everything that's going on in my life so that I don't have to peel back those layers of my life so I've been running to this brunch. I've been going on this dinner date. I've been asking for text buddies. And because my phone is so dry, I've been connecting myself to any and everybody so that I can just have somebody that's going to sit and listen. I've been doing all the above. So I've been drinking from every cup that came my way, taking advice from everybody that came my way. I've been bending over backwards doing all of these things. Why? Because I needed something to distract me from me. Okay, I'm waiting. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I've been, I've been fake busy coach. Cause I've been, yeah, I've been, because I'm so afraid of my own truth. I'm so, come on, let's be, if you want to grow, you got to be honest. Appreciate those flowers, man. Y'all bless me up. Send me some love real quick. TikTok. Let me, send me some love, IG. Send me some love. Yeah. If, 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 if you want to grow, you're going to have to be honest. If you want to grow, you got to be honest. God can't heal what you hide. Understand that. And he already knows your heart. You know, 
know, you walking around pretending to be okay when you're not okay ain't going to do it, baby. You over there wearing that mask thinking that because you got a smile on your face and you dress nice that it's going to fix the situation, but it's not. In the inside, you're a beautiful disaster, and it's time for you to become open. It's become time for you to become honest about what's going on in your life. In order for you to be able to grow, you're going to have to fix those broken pieces. In order for you to evolve the way that you want to, you're going to have to fix those broken pieces. And some things you're going to have to also understand this. Thank you, Heather. Some things you're going to have to understand. It's going to be some situations that's going to be the part that's going to get. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Come, come on, 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 come on. It's, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's 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 be real. What, what, what you, what, come on, let's be real. What you're trying to tell me, Coach? It's gonna be some things in your life, some things that that that's gonna take place in your life, some things that's gonna happen in your life. It's gonna be some parts of your life. No matter how much you love them, no matter how much you love them, no matter how much you want that relationship, no matter how much you have poured into that bond, no matter how many years that y'all have been together, no matter what it is that y'all have gone through, it's gonna be some situations that you are not going to be able to fix it's heavy that's heavy that's tight but it's so right that's tight but it's so right yeah yeah it's tight but it's so right what you're saying coach it's gonna be some things in your life baby that's not gonna be worth your fixing let's just be real let's be real let's be real it's gonna be some things in your life that you're gonna have to be honest with yourself and say you know what it's too much damage here it's been too much hurt here it's been too much pain here it's been too much back and forth here I, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been so much it's been so much that no, no, yeah yeah i i i i, I I can't fix this one. This is going to be one of those ones that I'm going to have to detach. This is going to be one of those ones that we're going to have to bow out gracefully. This is going to be one of those ones that I'm going to have to kiss this right here goodbye. It's going to be one of those ones where I'm going to wish you well and I'm going to want the best for you as long as it's over there. It's going to be one of those ones when I'm going to have to get like Keisha Cole and say, you know what? I changed my mind. I, just, I, I don't want it no more. I don't want the love no more. I don't want the time no more. I don't want the energy no more. You're going to have to develop that cassette more shell when you like, I don't even care. Blame it on me, baby. Go ahead and say it's my fault. As long as we over, go ahead, tell them whatever you got to tell them that's going to make it good for you. Tell yourself whatever you got to tell yourself that's going to help you sleep at night. Do whatever you got to do. Just blame it on me. Understand that because guess what? My switch, my mental switch has been flipped and I'm not concerned with telling my side of the story anymore. I'm not concerned with making folk understand it anymore. My concern is my peace. My concern is my joy. My concern is what? My growth and my development. I'm locking in on me. I'm done fighting. I'm done with the fight or flight. The trauma responds to life. Because me holding on to that fight or flight, that got me showing up in life with a panic, looking for paper bags, blowing because I'm about to lose it, coach. That's survival mode. And you in survival mode, my love, because you don't feel safe. In the relationship, in the friendship, in the family ship, situationship, I don't feel safe. And when I'm not safe, I'm not showing my true authentic self. I'm not saying what needs to be said. I'm tiptoeing around and I'm pretending to get along with the go along because I don't feel safe. You want me to be vulnerable? You want me to be soft? You want me to be this person that make me feel safe? And most of the time, we're not safe because we don't trust you. And we don't trust them because we know. Go pick your phone up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go pick your phone up. Go, 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 go get your phone. Go get your, go, go, go get your phone. 
Go get your phone. Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all throwing shoes. Some of y'all at work. Y'all done already put the church finger up. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Some of y'all done pulled a slam over on the side of the road. Some of y'all, yeah, I, I I know for a fact you was trying to, yeah, you was trying to listen and eat lunch, but now you standing up eating because, yeah, yeah, coach, what you said, I, because, because you don't trust them, because you don't, like, can we just be honest? Y'all said I could go deep on this live. Y'all said I could talk about y'all relationships. Y'all said that I could be real on y'all lives. Y'all just told me, y'all just said that. So that's the reason why we here. When you gave me that permission, I'm like, okay, this, 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 what we going at, this, what we at with it. Why, why I don't trust you because I know you. I, I've seen you live in action. I know that you are a liar. I know that you're a cheat. I know that you're a manipulator. I know that you're narcissistic. I know that you're toxic. I know who you are is the reason why I'm not vulnerable with you. That's the reason why I'm not soft with you. That's the reason why I'm not that person that, that, that you say, well, when you get around so-and-so, you be a whole nother person. But then when you get around me, it's like you clam up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can't be the person that I am with them, with you, because I don't trust you. Yeah, I'm just going to wait on you to be real. And you calling them boo-boo. You calling them bun-bun. You calling them bae. You saying that that's your, yeah, 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 yeah. That bae stands for what? Bae above any and everything. You calling them your boo-boo, your bae, your bun-bun. You laying next to the op every single night. You laying next to somebody that you don't trust. And the reason why you don't trust them is not because of one situation. Oh, come on, coach. You... Come on, coach. Well, 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 it's not because, yeah, it's because you don't trust them. And, the, and it's not because of one situation. It's because you've seen their pattern. You, you've seen their pattern. You've seen how they've shown up. You've seen the things that they've done. It's not been one thing. It's been countless things, one after another, after another. So you already know the individual that you're dealing with. So when I say that you're self-sabotaging because of your own lack of self-accountability, that because of self is the reason why you're going through the things that you're going through. I'm just making it make sense. I'm just breaking it down for you because a lot of times you're going through things with people that you already know. It's not that you know, don't know. You're pretending not to know and you're pretending to be blind to their BS because you love them, because you want to be loyal to them. You already know that they ain't no good for you. You already know that they can't reciprocate. You already already know that they are a liar. You already know that they are manipulative. You know these things about them, not because of one situation, but because of what they've shown you in a pattern of the way that they behave throughout your relationship. But instead of you being accountable in your life and saying, I see that you can't do it. And before I let you destroy me, I'm going to have to detach from you. We pretend to be blind to what they do just so we can hold on to them. We pretend to not be hurt or feel disrespected because we don't want to be alone. We pretend not to feel what we feel, even though we know that the inside of us is begging to be free, is begging to be loved, to be respected, is begging to have somebody. I ain't even asking you to do something I just want you to love me like how I'm loving you. I'm just asking you to be to me what I am to you. I'm just asking you to reciprocate. I'm just asking you to show up for me how I'm, I'm not even asking you to do something that I'm not willing or already doing for you. It's tight. It's tight. So coach, what you saying? That's that self-neglect. That's selling for less than what you deserve. And I've told you guys a million times that whatever life you settle for, it's going to be the life that you have. If you want bigger and better, you got to work towards it. You want more, you got to work towards it.
everything that you need is already inside you. You got to remove that fear and insert that faith. You got to give yourself permission to live. You got to give yourself permission to be happy, to have joy, to have peace. You deserve that. How dare you rob yourself of that? Settling for a piece, settling for a small portion, settling for the leftovers of the crumbs when you deserve a whole plate. We ain't fighting for crumbs no more. We ain't begging for bare minimum no more. We ain't running ourselves in the ground for folk no more. We ain't staying in a chokehold of this fake loyalty no more where the only person that's loyal is you. Nah, we done with that. But every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love and you have got to learn to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. It's your favorite online motivational speaker and life coach. It's your girl, Street Poet. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I need three more badges to reach our goal on IG. I need y'all to double tap y'all at 397.9K. I need y'all to double tap on that screen for me, TikTok real quick see if we can reach our goal and then we're going to be out of here let me get three badges up here the title that we were talking about today is baby we, we done fighting we over we over that fighting stage we're done with that we done with that the days of us settling for less that's out the window that that fight that fight or flight that's a trauma response that's what people do when they have broken thinking sneaking thinking when they over there and they don't know the man or woman that they are when they don't know what they really bring to the table they go into a panic. But over here, we're learning how to relax and attract. Why? Because everything that belongs to us is going to be for us. And there's nothing or nobody that's going to be able to stop that. It's not a devil in hell that's going to be able to prevent that. That's mine right there. And we don't have to have, be thirsty. We ain't got to fight over nothing. We ain't got to beg over nothing. We ain't got to run ourselves in the ground. We ain't got to go outside of our way trying to prove nothing to nobody. All we got to do is make room for our blessing. All we got to do is make room for our brand new. You're going to have to be willing to move some stuff out. You're going to have to be willing to let some stuff go in some situations. You're going to have to understand that it's okay. Everything ain't for you to fix. Some things are for you to simply sweep up and throw out. What you say, coach? Some things ain't for you to fix. Mm -mm. And and truthfully speaking, you'll be doing more damaging to yourself. I'm trying to get off of here. I got a coaching session to go to. You do more damage to yourself trying to fix it than you would just simply throwing it out. Which is, come on, sometimes there's going to be some situations in your life where it's going to be so much pain, so much heartache, so much trauma, so much everything that's just right there that, baby, you do more damage to yourself, more harm to to yourself trying to fix it than you would to simply I gotta sweep this up. I gotta wipe up this. I gotta just throw this out. Sometimes you just gotta slide the, dra the trash can up against the counter, grab you old thick paper towel and sweep it right on into the trash. That's what you have to do. Everything ain't for you to fix. How can we determine, coach, which one is the difference? How do I know what to fix and what to throw out? Y'all know me and I don't believe in giving you incomplete. You know what I mean? Because it's right information, but it won't be right if it's not complete. So the right, the comp I got to complete it. Can I complete it? Can I complete it? Can I give you how you know the difference? Just give me a few minutes. If I can, just put, give us the information. Just put, give it to us, coach. I just, because I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I did my outro, but I don't believe in giving incomplete. That's going to be incomplete if I leave at that. If I leave right now, it's going to be incomplete and I don't want to give you incomplete. Can I complete it? Just put in my comment section. Come on. I need the... I can, okay, boom. Here we go.
This is how you determine what is worth your time, your energy and effort. And this is what you got to throw out. When you look at it with a person, when you have a conversation with that individual and you let them know how it's affecting you, when you let them know how it's hurting you, when you let them know how it's making you feel and you see a automatic change in that individual, when you see that that apology is accompanied by a change of behavior, when you see that you, you them hurting you, it also hurts them because I didn't know that it was going to be that deep. I'm sorry that I made you feel that way. And you see the behavior change. You see they show up different. They respond different. They hear you when you're speaking. That's a relationship that is worth saving. That's a relationship that is worth right there. Oh, baby, we can work this over here. If, as long as you got some effort, as long as you are tuned in, as long as you're trying to try, I got you. But the ones that you throw out is the ones when you let them know how you feel and all of a sudden they go outside of their way to try to justify that behavior. They start projecting. They start gaslighting. They start being manipulative twisting and turning everything as soon as you say you hurt they come up with what they hurt by but they wasn't hurting until you start saying something and now you're saying something. Now they got an issue. Now they got a problem. Now they going through something. Understand that right there, that's trash. Got to throw it out, baby. They ain't yet ready to take accountability. They, they, they don't, they don't, they don't want that accountability. Wait a minute. You holding me accountable? I'm offended. You, yeah, yeah. You holding me accountable? I'm offended. You want me to respect you? I'm offended. You want me to treat you with what? Oh, I'm offended. You're not accepting this bare minimum from me? I'm offended. You got to let folk know that I'm not the person that I used to be. Oh, no, 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 baby. Let me reintroduce myself to you. When I was broken, when I was down bad, I might have tolerated that. When I didn't know any better, didn't know my worth, I might have tolerated that. When I didn't know if I was coming or going, I might have put up with that. But now I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. Now that I am intentionally working on myself and my relationships with folk, I need for you to understand that you ain't going to be able to handle me the way that you used to. You might have thought you telling me that you were walking out, that we were done, that you were leaving, that it was this, this, and this. That right there used to break my heart. I used to send you a paragraph. I used to show up at your job because I'm here to fight for our relationship. But the person that I am right now today, <laughs> yes, sir, play with me if you want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Play with me if you want to. What you say, coach? I'm going to have to make you stand on that. Mm. Which are you, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to have to make you stand on that. I'm going to have to make you stand on that. That's right. When you say that this relationship is not the relationship for you, you're only going to get one time to say that to me. When you say that you're not happy here, you're only going to have one time to say that to me. And I'm going to make you stand on it. That's right. If you ain't happy here, go find your happy. You ain't got peace here, go find your peace. Understand the days of me running after you, begging you, running you down for a relationship. Those days are out the window, my love. Understand that I'm going to wish you well over there. You will not pick and play with me anymore. You will not psychologically abuse me anymore. You will not toy with my emotional state anymore. You will not walk me like a dog. Not another day. Today is the last day for that right there. Understand that I'm walking out. Understand that I'm done. Understand that that's snip snip. Understand that that's going to be the last time. And that's a fact. That's how you got to operate. Every single day of your life because you owe that to yourself. But I'm about to get up out of here right now, man. But I just want to tell y'all I love y'all and thank y'all so much for tuning in. I got a session that's about to start like right now. So let me, friends say get out of my kitchen. But yes, y'all got y'all gonna be, be prepared to be sick of me the whole entire month of October. Be prepared to be sick of me. This is mental health month. And guess what? I'm about to be so locked in with y'all. Y'all ain't gonna know when I'm coming on live. It might be this time today. It might be uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Y'all might see me again later on the night with the same message for the folk that was at work and couldn't catch it right now just understand this whole entire month oh yeah y'all go ahead and get ready get prepared for me make sure your notifications is turned on because i'm gonna be in your business i'm gonna be in your house i'm gonna be in your job i'm gonna be on your front couch with my feet kicked up kicked up on your coffee table all the above understand that that's what we're gonna be at with this right here why because you deserve it you deserve, you deserve to have joy. You deserve to have peace. You deserve to be able to live a life that is truly happy. You deserve that. 
and I'm going to help you get to that point. Yeah, we're going to stop lowballing ourselves. We're going to stop playing with our own potential. That's what we're about to stop doing. All right? Well, you guys, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you're not following my page, IG, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that follow button. And when you turn that follow button on, do me a favor and make sure that uh, after you turn that follow button on, make sure you do me a favor and uh, share the live videos, man. Comment on the videos, post the videos, do wet the videos. And as y'all sharing my content, make sure y'all hitting the remix, uh, the remix for it as well, guys, okay? I don't mind you guys posting my comment, uh, my uh, my videos remixing my videos but make sure we doing it the right way so that i actually get credit uh for the content that i'm creating you know what i'm saying um i like i said i don't mind it's not a big thing you know what i'm saying for me you know what i'm saying i don't mind you guys putting it out there and all of that and you can put your own little flair and all of that to it or whatever but you know what i'm saying this is my uh this is this is what i do for a living this is my livelihood you know what i'm saying this is what i dedicated uh my life to so if you guys do not mind please make sure when you are sharing my lives that you guys share the lives uh the right way thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys more than you guys will ever ever know i got a session that i'm supposed to be on so i got to get up out of here right now so i love you guys so so much man and y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day thank y'all so much and remember that you are in total and complete control do not allow anybody to ruin you of your good to ruin your good day to ruin your good mood make sure you stay locked in stay focused this is mental health month this whole entire month so make sure that you stay locked in with yourself. I love you guys so, so much, man. Y'all enjoy the remaining portion of y'all day. Thank y'all so much. Mwah. Love y'all TikTok. Love y'all IG. Be good. Okay. I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting off. Let me get, let me, there we go. Y'all, y'all are in there. Let's say this one. Y'all got me late for my, they wouldn't let me get off, friend. I was trying to get off. They had me held up. Double tap real quick. I need y'all, y'all at four, they at four, 491. Double tap. Y'all listen. I told y'all this hood life coaching over here now. This hood life coaching. She already, she already on here, but this one, this one of my faithfuls right here, she here with me all the time. So the double tap, double tap on the screen. Get us, get to the goal. Friend, we got to get, we reaching the goal over here, okay? We coming. Reach the goal. There we go. Come on. Y'all at 496. We got to get to 500K. Get to 500K. 500K, double tap on the screen. I love y'all too, man. Y'all already do it. There we go. We reached the goal. Shout out to y'all TikTok, man. I love y'all. I got to go. My session is about to start. Man, listen, I'll catch y'all later on tonight. Like I said, turn your notifications on because y'all don't know when I'm going to be live. This whole entire month is mental health month. So I will be on here nonstop. I love you guys. Enjoy your day.